nor gate is a universal gate but how we can say that that is what we are going to learn in this video basically we are going to follow a simple process universal gate means what a gate which can be used to construct any gate or any logical circuit that can be called as a universal gate so that is what we are going to do in this video we are going to create all types of gate using nor gate so here you can see this is the not gate and we have the truth table of not gate here we'll give input and that is a and here we'll take the output and that is y is equal to a bar so basically this not gate is inverting gate whatever input you will give you will get an inverted output so we are going to create this not gate using nor gate so this is the symbolic representation of nor gate here we have the truth table of not gate this truth table we are going to use to verify that our constructed circuit is really performing like NOT gate or not. So this is the output equation of NOR gate and this one is the output equation of NOT gate. So what we aim to do, our aim to modify this equation is such that after modification our this equation should looks like this one. So that we can directly replicate this using NOR gate. So for that we suppose to make some modification in this equation. So now here you see instead of this a plus b what if we remove this b and add another a over here. So this equation can be rewrite as a plus a whole bar or a plus a complement. So here we can say a or a this plus sign is representation of or operation. So if you write a or a the output will be a because 0 or 0 the or operation of both the 0 will be 0 and the or operation of both the 1 will be 1. So we can say that a plus a is equal to a and if you have any query in this then you can check the truth table of or gate. So I think it's clear to you now. So here instead of a or a whole bar we can write a bar or a complement. So what do we supposed to do here? We supposed to give same input to the both the terminals of this NOR gate. So here we are shorting these two terminal and taking only one terminal outside and that becomes A. So finally our output Y will be A bar and we'll verify it through the truth table. If input of NOT gate is 0, the output is 1, right? If input to this circuit is 0, then both the input to this circuit is 0, 0. If both the inputs are 0, 0, the output is 1, right? So it's inverting. Instead of this 0, what if the input to this circuit is 1? Then, then both the input to the circuit is 1. When both the input to the circuit is 1, the output is 0. So output is 0. So again it's inverting the output. So that's how you can create NOR gate using NOT gate. Now it's time for the next gate and that is AND gate. So here this is the symbolic representation of AND gate and this is the truth table of AND gate. Both the input A and B and the output equation of AND gate. Y is equal to A and B or simply we can say A into B. Now here we have the truth table of nor gate and here we will modify this equation in such a manner that we'll get this type of equation in our output so that we can represent and gate using nor gate so here we want multiplication and here we have addition here we want and operation here we have or operation how to combine these things together so for that solution you should remember the de morgan's theorem what it says it says a plus b whole bar is equal to a bar into b bar and that is what we want. We want multiplication, we want AND operation. So from OR we get the AND operation. Okay, so now we are a step closer to the form that we want. So now is it exactly the same what we want? No, this bar is little extra over here. So we want to remove that. So now how to remove that bar? If you remember the same thing we have did in our previous video that A is equal to A double bar. If you don't know this logic I must recommend you to watch that video so that it will be very much clear to you. So you can write A is equal to A double bar. Here what do we have? Here we have single bar. 
so we cannot remove bar from this equation so what do we do we'll add one more bar in this equation so this will become a double bar into b double bar or a complements complement into b's complements complement so we can rewrite this as and that is exactly what we want so what do we do here instead of using simple a plus b whole bar what we'll do instead of a we'll use a bar plus b bar so what it will become a bars bar into b bars bar or a's complements complement into b's complements complement so first step is to have a bar and b bar and then to have whole bar so to get that we'll use nor gate so here we'll have a truth table of nor gate so first what do we want first we want a bar we have a but we want a bar so in order to convert a to a bar we want to use a not gate and we have just previously seen that how to get the not gate from the nor gate so we'll use this arrangement of nor gate to get the not gate so this is our a input and the output will become a bar the same way this is our b input and the output will become b bar so now we are ready with the a bar and b bar so now what we supposed to do a bar plus b bars whole bar and this is what the output equation of nor gate so we'll simply use one nor gate and we'll give this connection to this nor gate so that the output of this gate will become y is equal to a into b so that's how we can create and gate using nor gate but now let's quickly verify whether it is true or not if a is equal to 0 and b is equal to 1 a 0 b 1 then the output is 0 right so let's say a is equal to 0 b is equal to 1 so the both the input to this nor gate is 0 so the output will become 1 here both the input is 1 so output will become 0 here one of the input is 1 and the another one is 0 so when one of the input is 1 and the another one is 0 the output is 0 so exactly the same output we are getting using this circuit and i want you to verify remaining three logical inputs whether this circuit is correct for all these three inputs or not and if it is true then write in comment section that we are getting that it is true so this is the AND gate using NOR gate and now it's time to go for the next gate and that is OR gate using NOR gate and this is the most simplest form because this is the representation of OR gate it is its truth table the inputs and the output the output equation of OR gate looks like this and the only difference in these two equation is of this bar bar means not operation so only modification this circuit is required is to just do a not operation of this nor gate so what do we do now we'll simply take a nor gate and then we'll add a not gate to it so here we have a truth table this is the nor gate both the input to this nor gate a and b and now we are going to add a NOT gate after this NOR gate. So this is the NOT gate created using the NOR gate. So we have single NOR gate and the output of that NOR gate is given to the NOT gate. So final output of this combination is Y is equal to A plus B. And now let's verify the circuit is correct or not. So in OR gate if A is equal to 1 and B is equal to 0 the output is 1. So let's say a is equal to 1, b is equal to 0. So when a is 1, b is 0, the output to this NOR gate is 0. So here we have 0. When both the input to this NOR gate is 0, here both the inputs are 0, the output is 1. So here we have the output is 1, which is the same as this 1. So that's how we can prove that this is the logically equivalent circuit of the or gate or we can say that we have created the or gate using nor gate so these are all the basic gates which we have created using the nor gate and now we are going to explore the xor gate and xnor gate and for that i recommend you to watch this video there we are going to create xor and xnor gate using nor gate so see you in that video